What's up guys, T Pearl WCMX here. I'm all about WCMX, sustainability, accessibility, and living a healthy lifestyle. Any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button right now. We're at St. Petersburg Skate Park. Practice day, you guys. We're gonna shred a little, and then uh, tomorrow is the big day. So hopefully you guys are in the area. You'll actually be seeing this video the day that I'm at the competition. So if you're in the Florida area, come down to St. Pete and check out the ASF Adaptive Sports Jam. Hope to see you there. minutes from Tampa okay so, so yeah, yeah. I just stayed over there and then I now I'm in an Airbnb for three nights in yeah. Tampa okay. so a little bit away but it was way cheaper and I got the whole place to myself so yeah that's nice yeah privacy yeah. quiet I got a screen and porch and all that oh wow so, yeah wow. A good life. yeah <laughs> for about 40 bucks a night so I can't beat it No, that's all right. You sure? Yeah. I'm not going far. All right, I'll start it off first. I want to thank everybody. Everybody for coming out. I want to thank everybody for coming out first and foremost, man. It was amazing for all you guys just to be down here at my home park where I've been trying my hardest to do something for a long time, and here it is. 
and it's the first one so I'm hoping that we can continue this and keep it growing and keep it moving and have our little WCMX adaptive skate here in Florida as well. Yeah. Uh, that's the plan. That's Plant the goal. The the sea. We're planning the seed. Uh, I know everybody's going to be truly amazed with tomorrow. There's all kinds of activities starting from like, you know, crazy like shoppers and you know, like all kinds of stuff. And we also have the mayor. Yes, I know. Don't say that. I'm not making fun of But it's going to be here and I want to make sure that we have an awesome killer event. Okay, because the city is going to be down here and we want to show them that this is for everybody. This is for everybody, not just for the skateboarders and that, it's for everybody. And uh, none, none, that's about it for me. I just wanted to say thanks. And uh, tomorrow, Troy's going to talk right now a little bit about the, the format and stuff, or Bethers, I'm not sure. About what we're going to do with the skating. Let's give it up for Tony. Yeah, you can close it up. Yeah, thank you, Tony. We've been working really hard and we're trying our 110%. Yeah, it's all here, There you go. All right, so tomorrow, starting at 9.30, will be open skate. That's when we're going to be setting up every single thing, putting, putting up banners, um, getting registration set up for anybody that's coming to so register for tomorrow. 9.30, open skate. Open skate. Open skate, 9.30. Um, to about 10. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tia Pro WCMX. I'm all about WCMX, sustainability, accessibility, and living a healthy lifestyle. Any of that interest you? Hit the subscribe button right now. You guys, welcome to my crib. Come on in, I'll give you a tour. So this is my bedroom slash refrigerator slash trophy table. Yeah guys, I know there's a there's a typo in the trophy. We'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Over here we got a nice full bath. If you guys saw my Instagram story, you know I was super excited about the tub. Yo! And last but not least, come on over here. You can see my mini split that I got right here. You walk in. Boy, this is a walk-in closet with its own entry. Check it. That got a nice gliding rocker bench. Little kitchenette over here. And this whole entire screen porch. Including the patio and basketball hoop. All for 40 bucks a night. Thank you, Airbnb. Sponsor me. Sponsor me, Airbnb. You guys know I use you everywhere. Guys, now it's time to get on the bus. I got sunburn. <laughs> I'm doing my Florida thing. I gotta get my trophy. It's got its own seat on the bus, so we, get, we both gotta check in soon, but I'm no, just kidding. I already checked in. The trophy's coming with me. It's a lap rider. <laughs> See you guys soon. Probably on the bus. I don't know. You know all right guys, this is not really where I expected to continue the vlog, but continuing on with my day. I'm here with uh, my mad load of stuff that I didn't realize I would have. So, there's my trophy. Anyways, um, pretty much what happened is I had a lot of luggage with me and then I uh, I didn't have enough money for all the luggage and so then they wanted to count my chair as part of the luggage so that was why it was too much luggage I guess and so then once they couldn't figure out what to do with me because they just wanted me to come up with more money out of nowhere then uh, by that time the bus was already gone so pretty much it was their fault because they wanted to charge me for my chair I wasn't going to pay for my chair, I could only pay for one luggage, they said I had three, I could only have one, but it could be up to 50 pounds, which by the way, this giant box is only 44 pounds, so that should have been one, and then carry on, and my chair, but then they wanted to charge me for two more, so 
it got pretty hectic and uh, then unfortunately by the time we figured it out it was like 10 minutes after the bus already left which then meant I had an eight hour layover at the bus station with all my crap so you know guys keeping a smile on my face there ain't nothing to worry about I'm still gonna get to Fort Myers unfortunately my afternoon and evening plans are now gonna have to be rescheduled but that's just the update there I guess I'm gonna try to vlog try to vlog uh, I'm mush right now brain mush sunburn on my face so I think pretty much I'm gonna try to edit let me see how much longer I have 1040 so I have like five hours left to sit here and do nothing and try not to lose my mind so I'm gonna do that you guys I'm not gonna lose my mind I'm gonna keep vlogging for you guys it's gonna be dope we're gonna get there I have two days of sunshine and beach and chilling so I'm excited about that stay tuned for the journey you guys yeah and I guess that'll be all for now probably outro when I you know what let's just let's just fill it in here you guys if you get if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and comment below anything you guys want to see or anything you like from my trip or didn't like i'm really digging this magical butter bean by the way go check out magicalbutter.com i'm gonna start doing some work with them super hyped on that guys this has been a great trip quite an adventure but you know me i'm always down for an adventure so don't forget what i say guys stay positive keep rolling remember that i love you and i'll see you guys next time peace 30, but right at 10 we're going to try to do a really nice opening ceremony and get that going throughout. Um, then we're coming back with 1.30 to 2.30 is going to be open practice and with our clinic. So that's where I'm going to be running all of our kids that come in here, set you up like we typically do, sending you to different places on the park. Depending on how many participants we have, we either rotate them with you as their mentor or You'll just stay at the park station, and then I'll rotate the kids around. Right? It just depends. So we've got an hour for that clinic. Then 2.30 to 3, we're going to have regular skateboarders doing a big bowl jam up there. So there's going to be regular skateboarders just practicing up there. The rest of the park is going to be off for us. So we want them to be here. We want them to be a part of it because um, they're so getting there. in the corner. Yep, you guys are in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then adapted skate will start three to three thirty. Then we're doing three thirty to four. We're gonna combine the intermediate and pro, so we're going three thirty to five. And women, you're gonna be included in that as well. Okay, right? it's gonna be an hour and a half of everybody that's skating WCMX together. And I'm gonna let Joy kind of talk a little bit about the new changes that we're gonna do for the competition. And before any, we'll warm up with, with me and you for this. We'll warm up with the classes that Women we have. Women will be right judged on their own. First they'll thing is the warm up and then after that, everybody, But they'll be judged yeah. on, on their own. My yeah. question is, can we use the, can we use the turquoise bowl? The, the, that one in the middle is going to be the skateboarder. So I don't know. He's going to set up early. And he's going to have it because he's going to have yeah, it. After they're done, they're calm. Probably use it. Yeah. After they're done, yeah. their competition. I think the competition is pretty much going to be stage four. Yeah, because there's going to be a stage over there, too. That's where the stage yeah, is. We, we, can, the we can get that in there, Tracy. Huh? But we can, we can work it out. We'll, yeah, it'll work we'll, out. We'll get you I don't take, for, just for one run. They shouldn't yeah. be overlapping. Just for one run. Oh, like, no, no, they shouldn't Tracy. overlap. They, they'll be running yeah. one thing and then you we'll take a break. I, mean, I really loved the bowl in the way back, but I will... That one's, nobody's gonna be able to see. I don't think yeah. one's gonna be back. This there. one, yeah. I'll run so over there. The blue one, that one's fine. We can do that. Yeah. All right, Troy, go ahead. Awesome. All right, so what we're gonna do is a permanent, an organized jam session. So, and, so what's gonna happen is say we'll have a list of people that are going Jerry, Matt, Aaron, uh, Delmas. And so you'll go in that line. So if Jerry goes first, when he runs through the park and does his you know hit or whatever he's doing boom he can go set up on the next one while Aaron goes then when Aaron goes after that then Matt goes and then Blake goes and then you will and then once at we go through everybody then we'll go back and start going through everybody again so hopefully within the half hour of the time we have you'll get to have maybe 
three to five runs in a roundabout way. Don't think of it as a run, think of it as like a line. You yeah, know? Line. Gonna be quick. Yeah. 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 No, it's no, no time. Max because 40 seconds though. If you're yeah. not, if you're still rolling on 40, we're cutting you off. I'm gonna be the one that says, you got five seconds, lack trick. You're done, like and then, time. yeah, we're rolling to, and we're gonna know exactly where the other person's set up, and we're gonna help focus on them. Right? So your goal is to get one to three hits in that time. You have, you have time go, to hit other sections of the park, yeah. though. <laughs> so you're just running one run, a combination of one to three sets. But see, once you hit the wall, if nobody's lined up with the stink up, they're lined up there, it's no big deal how long it takes you to get out. Yeah. Because now somebody else is going, and then you can oh, set yeah, up. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, yeah, so once you hit that, you're done, gotcha. you're pushing out, so you're That's not what, So we're eliminating the judges watching your recovery. It's yeah. pretty much what we're That's cool, because like, we're spending our time efficiently. Right. As we're going back, what are you guys There's no, yeah. there's there's no, no downtime trick. contest. Yeah. Is and you have time to set up somewhere else. The biggest thing is going to be if you guys are going somewhere that the judges might need to move, that you let myself know so I can give them a heads up to, so that they can see you on that run. Our goal is to stay in this area right here because we can see everything goes on there. We can see the snake run and everything right here. And then if we do need somebody to go over and look at somebody dropping in the bowl, we can send them to the other people. Yeah. 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 Yeah.